In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus Na2S. This is sulfuric acid, and this is sodium sulfide. The first thing we do when we balance net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. It's already balanced, so we're done there. Next, we're going to write the states for each substance. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid. That means it's a strong electrolyte. It's going to dissociate into its ions. We write AQ. Na2S, sodium sulfide, sodium compounds, if you know your solubility rules, very soluble, AQ. H2S, it could be dissolved in the water. It's a weak electrolyte because it's a weak acid, but it's probably going to be a gas here. I would guess it would bubble out of the solution. So we'll leave that as a gas. Sodium compounds, we said, very soluble. So we'll put AQ here. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. Hydrogen's in group 1 on the periodic table. We'll say that's a 1 plus. And then the whole sulfate ion, 2 minus. Good one to remember. So we have two hydrogen ions, 2H plus. I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus, we have our sulfate ion, that SO4, 2 minus. The sodium, sodium's in group 1, and it's also going to be 1 plus. And the sulfide ion, that's 2 minus. So we'll have 2 sodium ions, and then we'll have the sulfide ion, that S2 minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, this H2S here, because it's a gas, we don't split it apart. It'll just be H2S. If we said it was aqueous and dissolved, because it's a weak acid and it's a weak electrolyte, we wouldn't split the ions apart. We only do that for strong electrolytes. So either way, H2S would be what we'd have in our equation. Again, sodium, 1 plus the whole sulfate ion, 2 minus. So we have two sodium ions, just like in the reactants, plus our sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants, I see I have a sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus here. And then in the products, I have it again. That's a spectator ion. Cross that out. Two sodium ions here in the reactants and in the products, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus Na2S. Let me clean this up. We'll write the states in, have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for a sulfuric acid plus sodium sulfide. If we look at the charge, we have 2 times 1 plus. That's 2 plus and a 2 minus. So that gives us a net charge of 0 on this side. For the products, we have a neutral compound net charge of 0. Charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. For the H2S, if we said this was aqueous, the only thing that would be different about our equation is we'd have AQ here. We still wouldn't split the H2S apart. It's a weak electrolyte, weak acid. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.